Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And JJ Abrams is basically canceled at Warner Brothers. Yeah. To clarify that, we're going to talk about this. JJ uh, Abrams had, I think, like one project at Warner Brothers he was doing. It, they were on the fence about it and they canceled it. It's a uh, uh, Demi Mondi. Is that what this is? I have no idea. I don't know. Some series he had and uh, they canceled it. And we're going to talk about this because. The word on the street is that David Zaslav is not happy with J.J. Abrams and Bad Robot because they took $250 million. Yeah, we talked about it when he got the deal. $250 million to do work for uh, Warner Brothers and he was going to be the guy. And he, he was supposed was to do a bunch of shows and stuff. A bunch of and shows things. and he took that money and instead went and did a bunch of uh, podcasts and shows and movies. For other studios, they didn't sign him, they didn't lock him into a, uh, an exclusive, including uh, they just announced the same day that Warner Brothers was unhappy with him. They announced that he was doing Speed Racer for Apple. Wait, so they gave him $250 million for his thing, but supposedly to do projects for them. Yes. And then he took things like Speed Racer and stuff went to Apple. Yes. So this is kind of, this kind of reminds me of like, uh, you know, like a crowdfunding scam where it's like we, we gave you guys a bunch of money and then you went and you did a bunch of other stuff, but you didn't actually do what mm -hmm. you're supposed to do. And that's kind of what happened here. It was like he got this upfront. They call him upfront. He got this upfront from Warner Brothers. Yeah, but usually an upfront is that you're supposed to, that that's to do work for them. That's not for you to take other places. No, but I think they made a huge tactical error. They did not lock him down exclusively, the Warner Brothers. That's what I thought that money was for. Yeah, so he took that money and he invested it in his company, and he's done a hell of a lot of other things that aren't Warner Brothers related, and David Zaslav is not happy. I wonder what happened to that, because I knew he had got that deal, and then we hadn't seen anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're talking like three years now, nothing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last like shred of whatever he was working on has, has been canceled, and I have to wonder if there isn't some clause in there that they can get their money back. Maybe if they cancel all of his projects, they can get the money well, back. So how much was it, did you say? $250 million. Still less money than they spent on CNN Plus. That is true. That is true. <laughs> I mean, I'm just... So no, they canceled. They canceled that, yeah. So let's let's talk about this before we get into it. Any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 269,000 subs. Yay! Thank you for the support. Geeky is back. She's back. I'm here, yes. She hasn't been canceled. That's right. I should have said I'm back. Yeah, right? Um, so we're going to talk about this. Uh, this dropped last night. Didn't have time to do a video on it. Obviously, it was like 11 o'clock last night. But HBO cancels J.J. Abrams, Demi Mondi, leaving the mystery box open forevermore. Um, so they said uh, when J.J. Abrams opens a mystery box, it's a mystery why people keep giving him yeah, such large right? sums of money. We expect him to toy with us for somewhere between two and 92 hours before reaching a serviceable but not wholly satisfying answer to anything. <laughs> See, the rise of Skywalker. Um, mm. Unfortunately, we didn't. <laughs> no. So, yo, I still haven't seen the rise nope. of Skywalker. Some mystery boxes will never be closed. J.J. Abrams' Demi Mondi is no more. Not that it ever was. But now it can never be. HBO has killed the project. They won in a bidding war with Apple. Okay, that's interesting. So they got in a bidding war with Apple, and they paid him all this money, and then he went to Apple anyway. Yes. Oh. S oh, hell no. Somebody. I Look, I don't know the specifics of the contract, but this sounds like there might be a potential... The potential for a lawsuit or something. Because when you give somebody $250 million. I thought they gave him more than that person. No, I thought it was 500 It was $250. I, I looked at and it. I thought it was to create multiple things for them. Yes. Another thing saying it's just one show. No, it was, it was, he was supposed to, they were supposed to lock him down to do uh, Warner content. He was supposed to be doing, like, uh, helping with DC. Now, side note, I don't have this article pulled up, but there was an article today in, I think it was a Hollywood Reporter talking about David Zaslav and how there are industry insiders that think that his whole job is to polish Warner Brothers to sell it again. Well, that could be. That, that happens next, a lot. Yeah, the next two to three years. That that would make sense, actually, because um, we've seen that with just corporations that aren't entertainment. They bring somebody in to to get it all nice and shiny and you know make sure it's, it's doing well so they can just unload it to somebody else. Yeah, and they think that the reason he's hiring the people he's hiring is to give it curbside appeal and that his plan is to sell Warner and Discovery off to somebody else within the next two or three years. Great. Disney will going to own all DC, oh, too? God. I don't think they'd be able to buy it at this point. Who knows? Anyway, 
So yeah, they gave him a bunch of money. They said HBO didn't want to pay more than $200 million on a show with a French title, at least not properties that don't include the words Joker in two. <laughs> and and um, this is the second show to get a pass from HBO since Abram and Abrams and Bad Robot entered a multi-million okay, dollar deal. That's the deal I'm talking in about. In 2019, HBO already declined to make a reservation on uh, at Overlook, a Shining prequel that would have seemingly built out a Shining verse. Nobody wants that. Does anybody want no, that? No, stop with the verses. Uh, now at Netflix, Overlook has no release date or cast. So, yeah, um, several, several things that he was working on have been canceled. And again, the article from a couple of weeks ago that David Zaslav was very, very unhappy with him. Basically, like we gave you a shit ton of money, um, $250 million overall deal. And uh, there hasn't been any, any, uh, anything that, that Warner can use. And Instead, he's going and he's like creating a podcast network and he's getting into video games. And he's doing all this other stuff. With him and his kid had time to do a Spider-Man issue. They had no time to do a Spider-Man. A yeah, Spider-Man comic in there. Again, all for competitors, too. It's not like he's taking the money and going out and start. He is doing his own stuff, but he's working for your direct competitors with the money that you gave him. Well, even if he got the overall deal, like it was a year after, I guess they, they won the bid on the other one. You know, at that point they would have known that he ruined star Wars. <laughs> well, not that he ruined it. I mean, let's be honest. Ryan Johnson did more to do with that than he did. Yeah. But he read, he, he went back on what Ryan Johnson did and they, yeah. they bl- basically him and, and Johnson kind of effed up star Wars. Yeah. It was, uh, there was no plan. Um, but yeah, they're like, you know, this doesn't look good for him and, and Zaslav is not happy. They're like, you know, we spent a bunch of money on you. So he's probably looking to claw back some money. So it might be, he might be in breach of contract. I right? don't know. Yeah. You know, I mean, or, or it could be a case of he pitched stuff and they didn't want it. And in, in that case, it's on them. But if he's deliberately not taking his projects to Warner Brothers. Here, here. Meanwhile, the lack of delivery on content to HBO and HBO Max has created a pipeline issue for both the premium cable network and streamer, make it challenging to plan for budgets or things like marketing. There is currently no delivery plan for any bad robots model projects for WBD platforms or for third-party buyers. Abrams, it's worth noting, is working on a new Star Trek movie for Paramount, and then he's doing the thing for... Arrival. Yeah, they said his pack, the pack did not include exclusivity. Now so basically, he took the money, didn't deliver anything, and is out there doing other... Now, not not saying it's, there's no exclusivity, um, that doesn't mean that he still wasn't, you know, that he still wasn't supposed to deliver things in a timely fashion to HBO. Yeah, it sounds like he took the money... He's padding out his company, and he's he's taking work from literally everybody else and not giving them right content. So lack of you know, he wasn't exclusive to them, but that doesn't mean that he could just not do the, the stuff either, except for the one show. But it sounds like it was for a lot of different things. That's how I took it. Yeah. Back when we talked about it, was it 2019? Yeah, it was. A while and ago. yeah. So good luck with that. I, I would not be surprised if the next headline is J.J. Uh, Abrams and Warner Brothers lawsuit or you know jj abrams cut loose from warner brothers or something well, they could eat the 250 million because they had no problem eating 500 million with that for cnn plus it was a month 500 million in a month and they then they canceled it yeah so i think i think he's probably done at warner's but that's okay we have uh, a live action speed racer which could could be good not with jj abrams but god i love i love the wachowski's speed racer movie i have an idea how about hbo max and all these other places just pay us a bunch of money to tell them if something's going to work or not before they actually go spend the money because we're usually right not always but 90 like some percent time we call that something's going to bomb and then it does so how about you save yourself millions make us rich tell us you know, say here's what we're thinking what do you think and we'll tell you whether or not you should spend money on it Look how much money you could save. If you gave us yeah. post on retainer for a million dollars a year. Oh, no, no. I want more than that. $10 million. $100 million. $100 million. $100 no, million. No. I'm kidding. Okay, we'll take, we'll take, we'll take 20. 20 and million. listen, and for that, we sa- we could save you 480. We could have saved you 480 million on CNN Plus. And what you can do is if if the movie or TV show is clownfish approved, you can put a little bubbly Steve on the corner of mm-hmm. your... So marketing, 
Like, look, this has the clown fish on it. The clowns approved. <laughs> this is a clown approved saying, project. Oh, Hong Kong. We tell them straight when we hear about it. Bad idea, bad idea, abort, abort. And they do it and then it, and then it screws them up and they lose millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. Probably all combined billions of dollars. You could have just asked us to begin with. We could have told you, yes, that would be a good idea. Or no, it wouldn't be. And then paid us a fraction of that. And you would have saved yourself all kinds of money. Well, that's what that's what he's going to rename his company. Bad Idea Productions. <laughs> yeah. Bad yeah. Idea Productions. So, yeah, I think he's, he's getting canceled. I think he's getting canceled. We're going to wrap this up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. 20 million. Call me. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. You know, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>